Ooh. That looks good, doesn't it? I wonder what he's up to. About to find out. Yo, what's good, people? Scott here, representing Mass Hunters, MassHunters.com. But yeah, we're here in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make a smoothie. This movie suitable for anyone really. Uh, vegans. Vegan. Vegan. Vegans. Vegans. Vegetarians. <sighs> Pescatarians. Anyone who likes protein. So, yeah, this is what I do for um, my smoothies. Um, I typically I fast for about 16 to 18 hours. I'm actually in the 18 hour window at the moment. And then I break my fast with a smoothie. So, this is what I have usually. So first and foremost, let me get some water. Put it up to about there. Yeah, that's, cool. that's the water taken care of. Put that to the side because we don't really need your ass anymore. Right, so then we're gonna get some protein. Oh, I'm trying to record this the best way I can at the moment. I need to get this tripod, peeps. I need to get this tripod. Um, apologies, apologies. So, yeah, just get. Well, I get about three scoops of these. Well, you don't get scoops in these Polson bags. You only get, well, you have to use your own spoon, which is roughly about 25 grams of protein, I believe. Well, it does say it there as well, look. 10 grams, one heat teach dessert spoon. So, if you want to be extra and measure, and measure it, you can by all means, but um, I've not got time for that, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> so that's the protein there. Um, right, so I'm going to get some bananas now. It was already chopped, as you can see, because I didn't want to waste your time, you and me, chopping bananas. Next up will be frozen fruit. So I'm going to put some in here. And there we go. All right, we're not using that one. All right, so <laughs> that's a handful of frozen fruit. It a bit of a waste, that one. It just um, it fell out. Um, sorry, mate, we're just going to... You're not going to get used. Um, so yeah, so that's the fruit out of the way. Um, fruit, obviously, good sugars. Um, I used to use honey. I don't use honey anymore simply because if you've got fruit as your sugar intake, you know, I don't need the extra sugar unless I'm working out twice a day. Then I'll put honey in. But you know, the only thing I would recommend you put in, put in your smoothie is probably cinnamon because if you don't like the taste of um, pea protein, because it does have an earthy taste. So if you want that earthy taste to not taste so strong, then you would use cinnamon, which would take the taste out. I've not got cinnamon today, unfortunately. So, um, but for me, the taste is bearable. So just just a just a little note in case you find this too earthy. You know, cinnamon does help. So now peanut butter. Get a teaspoon of peanut butter. Yeah, good fats, man. Good fats. You now you need um. You need good fats, you need all your macros, you need protein, carbs and, and fats. Um, there's no carbs in it, well the only carbs in this really is the, but come on, yeah, come on, yeah, what? yeah, what? yeah that's enough. I would actually probably lick some of this off, lick some of this off, lick some of this off. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But I'm actually fasting right now, so, um, I can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm on a low carb diet at the moment, so um, the only carbs I'm getting is fruits and chia seeds. Um, as you can see, um, it's got good fats in there, sugars, none, calories, 67 calories. And the carbs, 1.2 carbs. Yeah, it's not too bad. Fiber as well, 5.1, and fiber's good, man. You need fiber, it helps the digestive system and it helps muscle repair as well and you get fiber from fruits and you get fiber from chia seeds so I definitely recommend that. All right, so I get a teaspoon of this, just a teaspoon. Hope it don't make a mess here. Well, if you're feeling like really hot then you could put some ice cubes in there as well um, to, to make it to make it cold obviously so um, that's a good shout. So um, make sure everything's on properly and when it's time to, to go press the button yeah so let that um, let that smooth or stir whatever you want to call it um, for about 
I'd say a minute, two minutes, and that should be enough. Um, blend, that's what I'm looking for, let it blend. Right, so, I'll put it in. As you can see, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good, man. Oh, that Ooh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, put it all in, man. But obviously, make sure um, the lid is tight. Otherwise, that's going to leak in your bag. I'm sure we've all been in that situation before where something leaks in our bag, so um, be careful in that regard. Um, you can probably hear me a bit louder today because I'm using my headset. Um, last time I didn't use my headset, which wasn't a smart move, but a friend of mine um, told me to use my headset when recording. It makes life a lot easier because you guys can hear me more. So it's probably why I'm so clear today. Um, so roughly, this is probably about, say, 25 to 30 grams of protein. Um, carbs is quite low as well. Um, I'd probably say 20 grams of carbs because you've got to take into consideration the frozen fruit and the banana and um, fats probably about less than 10 grams obviously the peanut butter and the chia seeds so um, in total roughly I think that's about this is a rough estimate about two to 300 calories maybe pushing 250 to 300 so it's not too bad if you do want more protein within your shake you can actually crack a few eggs in there stir it blend it and that will obviously add to your protein intake, but obviously adds your calorie and fat intake at the same time as well. Um, but um, now I would recommend this as as a good breakfast to have. It's got everything you need. It's got good sugars in there as well. Sugars aren't too high, and I think it's best probably to either have this in the morning when you break your fast, as soon as you wake up if you're not fasting, or after a workout. I think that's when it's best. Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the smoothies we'll be doing. We'll be doing other smoothies. Um, as I said, this is suitable for anyone, uh, vegans, vegetarians, pescatarians, anyone. Um, obviously, if it tastes too strong, too earthy, bearing in mind because it is pea protein. Um, let me just give a big shout out to, to Paulson. Paulson pea protein. Um, obviously, add some cinnamon in there, which will take the earthy taste out. So give this a shot. Let me know what you think. And hopefully, it tastes good for y'all. Yeah, let us know what you think. Um, all the details will be in the description. Um, any questions, give us a shout. Check out the website, masshunters.com. And get Dan your gob.